Hi everyone! Uh, oh, I don't know why I was so suddenly very hyper. Hi everyone, this is Natasha and this is Friday Fun Bits. I know it's going up late because I had tried, I had made an attempt to have a Friday Fun Bits live on Ustream and Ustream was being a poo head. Uh, chat wasn't working, I couldn't see who was in, um, I couldn't interact and that was the whole point of having the live one. So. That being said, you see my desk is a mess, stuff all over, I have swaps that I'm working on, and as I was working on the swaps, someone um, sent me a question which I thought would make a great Friday fun bit. See, Moses agrees with me. I think there's a... Um, track team from the middle school that runs up and down our street so the orchestra mosey enough so sorry um so the or orchestral reactions from the dogs because of that so the question was all of the acronyms that we use as crafters for a newbie it could be kind of intimidating and at a loss so i'm gonna go over some of the basics and if i miss anything Leave them in the comments below. Um, help uh, the newbies out. Newbie, someone who is new to whatever it is, and in the craft community, it's uh, to crafting, scrapbooking, card making, altered art, mixed media, whatever it might be. And this newbie, and uh, let me just check to make sure I can give her a shout out, uh, is Colette. Colette Valdez um ask the question what are all these acronyms rack okay so rack is a good place to start r a k random act of kindness some people call them gags uh unexpected gifts um i call them nifty gifties whatever you call them it's something that you weren't really expecting and you received one caveat in order to receive an entirely random random item Somehow your address must have been either published or asked for. So when people act entirely surprised, I mean, you can be surprised when someone sends you something, especially if it's someone you've sent something to. Yes, but someone who you've never really interacted with to suddenly send you something and then be out, act all surprised, where they have their address? Are they pulling a CSI trick? So rack is a random act of kindness. Uh, swaps um, they could be either group swaps uh, which is what I'm working on right now is a group swap so I have multiple um, partners and they're usually done via a hostess either on a social site like a Ning site or on a Facebook group or on a, uh, uh, someone posts a, a um, open swap on a blog it could be all sorts of ways but multiple group swaps you typically make the same item x number of times as there are participants in that particular group one-on-one uh, -on -one swaps would be just between you and another person uh, let me see if there was any other items that she asked about specifically um haul um haul is basically um a share of what you shopped for or what you received um, a lot of times people share hauls because they're they're good deals um, I try to share a haul when it's something that either I'm picking up for the first time or something that I find that's a really good deal um, if I find a new online shop that has really good um, either shipping or really good prices. I tried to share share it via a haul video I'm just checking back to see um, oh ETC's ATC stands for artist trading card and They started quite a while ago. I have an ATC basics video. I'll link right here Ta -da! Um, If you want to check that out Colette or if anybody else wants to check it out, um, I have a lot of kind of reference information. So if you want to peruse through my playlists, um, I did organize them somewhat. There's gadget questions, um, or there's gadgety videos. There's gardened. There's pets and Friday fun bits like today. And I'll put a list for Friday fun bits right here. If you want to check out some of the older ones you may have missed, or if you're new to my channel. Oh, speaking of, don't forget to subscribe. See that button? Hit it. Hit it. 
hit it hard. I don't know what I want, sorry. <laughs> so um, artist trading card is a standard card. It's a standard size. It's a two and a half inch by three and a half inch little work of art. It could be mixed media, stamped image, collaged, um, pattern papers, three-dimensional, two-dimensional. Um, it's just a little trading card. And the reason of the size is um, it started out, uh, people started out using the backs of playing cards, and which is, that's the standard size. And then the newest edition is inchies. I did a video earlier today of some inchy samples because I'm going to be hosting an inchy swap. So I wanted to share that. And an inchy is literally just a one inch square little, uh, there you go. So this is my little inchy that I made earlier today as an example. One inch square, you could stamp on it, you can collage on it, you could um, use mixed media. It's open to interpretation. So that's in cheese. And there are so many different things. Um, basic A2 size cards. I did cover that last week. Um, so if you want to put, you know, I'll put a link here. I'm going to have a lot of annotating to do. So if you're watching this before you see the annotations pop up on the screen, uh, give it a minute or two or I'll try to edit it as quickly as possible. So that's Friday Fun Bits for today. Um, I had hoped to do a live one because I wanted some feedback be, um, for the project that you wanted me to make live on Friday Fun Bits. Unfortunately, Ustream was not behaving. So I think what I'm going to do, not this coming Friday, uh, I think the Friday where I'm on vacation, and I'm sorry, you're getting a glare from the, uh, from there. The Friday uh, in October, second week of October, or third week of October that I'm on vacation, I will do a Friday Fun Bits scheduled live and not on Ustream, but on YouTube. You could do a YouTube live show and I'm going to schedule that and I'll post one that's going to happen. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, um, I'll include links in the description to my blog to the Friday Fun Bits Facebook group uh, where you can leave requests for future Friday Fun Bits videos. Um, I've also created a Friday Fun Bits Ustream channel, but I'm not going uh, I tried to use it earlier today and it, no chat. And no chat defeats the whole purpose. So hopefully that helped out. If anyone has any suggestions or if you have some hints for newbies, by all means, leave a comment. Better yet, leave a video response. Love my scary tree. The next card I'm making, I'm going to cut the tree in half and post it on each half on two separate cards. And then the third one will have the full tree. So it'll be um, a three pack for a gift, a nifty gifty. So, all right. So um, look forward to video responses. What kind of helpful things you can um, provide for newbies who are to the new to the crafting community. And um, as always, you can stop by the Friday Fun Bits Facebook group and add comments, requests, whatever you would like to see on next week's show. So I'm going to get back to uh, creating my projects. If you have any questions, as always, leave me a comment, um, do a, a video response. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up. You got two of them. You could spare one. I know you can. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And that... I'm going to say thank you for watching.